I'm going to show you five different ways of solving your issue of uninstalling apps that you're having a hard time deleting. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified for more pro tips on your Mac. Sometimes when we want to delete apps for a variety of reasons, whether it's to save storage off of our computer or to solve an issue that we're experiencing right then and there, unfortunately, it's not as simple as just dragging the app to the trash bin and deleting it. It's unfortunately more complicated because sometimes the application folder is in a very unusual location, so you're actually leaving behind leftover files or it's a running program, or it's a system, or unfortunately, it could be malware. So I have a quick question for you. Comment down below the name of the application or the program that you're having issues with, because this could be so useful for anybody who clicks on this video who is experiencing the same exact problem as you, and they'll know that this video help them. One of the first things that we can do is to use something called the activity monitor. So I want you to hit command space, type in activity monitor. And here's a whole list of programs that we can recognize or some that we don't. And they're all categorized by CPU usage, memory, energy, disk space, and so on and so forth. Now, sometimes the application that we're having trouble with is not quitting the way that we usually close it out. So you can go to activity monitor, highlight anything that stands out to you, and then click this X button over here. And that process should stop. The second thing that you do is a very simple step. And that is to to reboot your entire Mac. Restarting your computer is one of the surefire ways to stopping all operations in its tracks and when your computer boots back up, hopefully the process stops. But if it doesn't, let's move on to step three. In this step, I'm gonna be using an app called Clean My Mac X. And with this program, I'm gonna to go to the uninstaller module in the applications folder. And now I can see a whole categorization of all the applications on my computer. There's even a folder for suspicious apps or unused ones as well. Highlight any app you wanna uninstall and it should completely wipe it off of your laptop leftover files included. If you want to know about other programs that could be Mac cleaning solutions, you should click this video right here. If your problem isn't fixed by now, it could potentially be a malware problem. So we're going to go back to clean my Mac X and go to malware removal and do a quick scan. This malware removal module not only detects and deletes malware and viruses, but also potentially unwanted apps as well. Luckily for me, I don't have any bugs on my computer and this app was able to help me uninstall some apps that I don't even use anymore. Clean My Mac X is such a wonderful program. It's all encompassing. And if you want to download it, there is a link down in the description box below and I highly recommend using it. The last potential step that you could take is to use the application's native uninstaller. Now, if you use Adobe products, for example, they actually all come with their own native uninstaller. For example, if I open up Finder, go to applications, and then I pick, for example, Adobe Photoshop, there's a native uninstaller right there. Native uninstallers are great because they can completely wipe that program off of your computer with the leftover files included. If a specific program has one of these, do not drag that icon over to the trash bin and empty it. It'll leave some incomplete processes behind and it'll cause you more problems than good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and hit that bell for notifications of more pro tips for your Mac.